What's going on, guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio Labs. I wanted to thank you guys for a superb year here, at Wilson Audio. We've done a lot of videos, over 50 videos. We uploaded at least one per week, and we did great also with the views. We had 15 million video views this year, 963,000 hours of watch time, and almost 66,000 subscribers added. You guys rock. And we also got some cool stuff sent in by you. And this is some of it, so check it out. All right, here's a box of goodies from Logan. Let's see what's inside. Feels like an amplifier. And feels like another amplifier. It was correct. It's a Rockford Fosgate Punch 40.2 and an Alpine 3566. This is a six channel Alpine, two channel Rockford. This one's from around 98, 99. Looks like you maybe picked this up at a Goodwill. Wow, for 20 bucks. So it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's got some residue here, which I'm sure will come right off. Stickers will come off with some goo gone. Clean it up a little bit. This thing will look like new. Let's flip it over and see. Yep, this has got the X card cover here. And condition wise, it looks pretty good. Looks like it may not have been open. Doesn't like it's been torn. So very cool. Rockford Fosgate Punch 40.2. And this is actually a pretty well sought after Alpine. The 3566, which is a 654 or 3 channel power amplifier. You can see based on the size of my hand, this is a pretty big amplifier. Looks like it may, he may have gotten this from a pawn shop or something. I don't know. But uh, overall condition is really good. It's got this faux wood grain piece here. Classic 90s goodness. You can see gain control. There's the high pass filter. Input mode. It has an acoustic compensation at the bottom offer, offer on. There's a gain for another channel either off or high pass. So four of the six channels, you can either have the crossover set to off or high pass. And then on the fifth and sixth channel, here's the gains for those. Either you have the crossover off or on low pass and tell what mode you want to have it in as well as the inputs. Let's check the other side. Here are the six inputs. Here are the speaker outputs. Looks like we're missing a couple of those. It's no problem. I got some extra screws around here. 225 amp fuses. And there is the battery remote and ground terminal from the old style spade style connectors. These old Alpines like this were actually made in Japan. They are beasts. I'll show you here on the back. I'm sure it'll say. There it is. Made in Japan. Model 3566. There's a serial number. Look at the price. Ooh. $379.99. She was pricey. But these are really, really nice, well built amplifiers and pretty well sought after. This one in particular, which is a six channel. But yeah, overall, really good shape. Thanks, Logan, for sending this over. We'll have to check this out in the near future. Our next up got some speaker boxes from my boy Hi-Fi Vega and also a flex fit hat, which I love these. He sent me this one recently for my big old extra large size head. But yeah, this one is designed for the Rockville K9 six and a half, which I have here. So he made me this box. I think he might've done the video on his channel showing and making it, maybe not. But um, yeah, he's just a really good box builder. And I appreciate him taking the time to do that. And this one, you've probably seen this one in a bunch of videos. This is the Savard High Q six and a half box. And he built another one for him just like this. You can see on his channel. And he did a shootout between that sub and the Sundown SA six and a half. You should check that out because it was a very, very good video. Um, but anyway, Super shout out to my buddy Rob over at Hi-Fi Vega. Check out his YouTube channel in the video description below. You can also see me and him on 12 Volt Talk, 
where we do a car audio related podcast. We have interview fun people, talk about the industry, talk about things that we want to talk about. So appreciate it. Thanks again, Rob. You the man. Now we'll take a look at this LED sign sent to me by Danny. And this is super cool. It's an acrylic sign, which is etched in with the old school stereo, Big D Wiz, all that good stuff. So awesome. You guys probably have seen this on 12 Volt Talk because they have it in the background. So thanks for that, Danny. Also, Jason sent me over one of his earthquake amps from his big system way back in the day. And this is the PHD2, a.k.a. the Shredder. And you guys can check the video description. I actually did a video of this amp and how it performed. I had to send it off to get it repaired. There was one of the caps that was popped off. But um, it was fun to test this out. And I appreciate again, Jason, for sending this over. I always have lots of fun testing these old amps to see how they perform. And getting it freshened up was uh, you know, important to do before testing it, obviously, since one of the caps had popped. But he sent the manual and all kind of other cool stuff. So thanks again, Jason. I greatly appreciate it. This next package comes from Ron W. And let's unbox it and see what's inside. He is a huge JL Audio fan, so I would assume, yes, it is, some JL Audio goodies. This really cool banner slash pennant that you can hang up. Check out the JL Audio. Show it off to your friends. And then he also sent over some really cool... Uh, badges and keychains. So thanks a lot. Appreciate that. And here we have a box from Brad. Brad is with uh, Vintage Alpine Repair. He took a picture of something. He's like, hey, you want this before I scrap it? I'm like, yeah, man, send it over to me. So let's see what it is because I really don't remember. Appears to be an amplifier. <laughs> I'll check that out. Let me clean some of this stuff off the table and I'll show it to you. All right, here it is. The Z4X600, 600 watts max, Series 2, MOSFET, bridgeable, crossover, all that good stuff. Who makes it? I don't even know. It's got a 40 amp fuse. That's a good sign, but it's not a good sign for 600 watts. Looks like it's uh, two channel. I already said that. It's bridgeable. Check out the little mesh screen here. You can see through. Oh, it's SPL. Okay, that's the brand. There is the line out. A low pass filter, high pass filter, bass boost, high input, and there's the RCA inputs. I've never seen this amp before. Let's see where it was made. Oh, made in China. The PRC. Okay, it says SPL. It's hard to tell, but it says it right here in the grill cover. I don't know why they would show that portion of the amp off because it's not really that impressive. And you're seeing that daughter board. <laughs> but either way, it's super slick. Nothing else. It's a really cool wall hanger. But we will try it eventually and see if it works and we'll amp dyno test it. So thanks to Brad over at Vintage Alpine Repair for sending this SPL Z4X600 over to us. So here's some cool stuff sent to me from Brad over at Legends of Car Audio. We'll start over here on the left side. This CalCell CSA102, I've actually shown this off on my channel before. You can check the link in the video description. Got one in, but it did not work. <laughs> so Brad actually bought several of them he sent me two of them. He said one of these works, one of them doesn't. So I was planning on actually doing one of these on an amp dyno test. It's not very powerful. It says 40 watts by two, but I think it's like a standard head unit, like uh, 18 by two or something, or 18 by four, I'm sorry. Um, but the really cool thing about it is it looks like the high-end Macintosh uh, DIN style unit that you can get that's not really an amplifier. That one's just a display. But this thing just looks really slick. So anyway, I'll try that out soon. We'll see how, see if we can get one of those working on the dyno. Now over here, now this is some beauty right here. <laughs> this is a 10 inch subwoofer by a company called Ecstasy. 
and this is these are brand new in the box from back in the 90s and you can see some other products they were planning on coming out with i think brad said he found these somebody had them in a warehouse and there was a whole bunch of them on a pallet or something these were never used they never really came out i don't think they never really made it i think they went out of business before they were actually released but you can see they have this purple accordion surround really cool old school looking logo there and the purple powder coated basket how slick is that these are four ohm i'll turn it over made in the usa probably eminence or somebody like that made them but yeah the standard probably 38 ounce magnet which a lot of people used back in the 90s you can see the spider there you can see some of the glue but yeah this has got the old style terminals like this no push terminals here my friends <laughs> but yeah these are really cool brand new in the box so ecstasy 10 inch subwoofers i'll try to get the crease out of this uh, brochure here and get it scanned in and i'll put a link in the video description if you guys want to see this or have it for a copy i don't know sometimes people like cool stuff like this i know i do but thanks again to brad over at legends of car audio for sending this fun stuff he also sent a t-shirt uh, and a couple other things that i can't put my hands on right now i think the t-shirt is in the washer but uh, anyway thanks again legends of car audio check them out legends of car audio.com now this item wasn't donated this is something i came across that i was very intrigued about this rockford fosgate mp3 sd card changer and the thing about it is when you get something like this you have to have a head unit that controls it so i put the word out my buddy brad over at legends of car audio hooked me up the rfx 8350 he had one that was pretty much brand new it just didn't have the harness so a little did I know the harness for these is really difficult to find and it's very expensive. So then I had Steven hook me up and say, Hey man, I'll make you one, you know, just share it on social media for me so I can get some more business. So he sent over a harness. He sent over some extra rock for Fosgate goodies. Check him out at SG devil decals on Facebook. But this harness is mad. I mean, it is crazy how much is going on on this harness. But we'll check this out in a future video. And also, during all this, I had Jim send me over a remote control for one of the other Rockford head units. So thanks a lot, guys. Steve sent me this way back, probably over a year ago. Can't believe I haven't shown it off. But this is the uh, Neo QR1 speaker terminal that works via neodymium magnets. And check this out. So this is the side that goes... Um, to your amplifier. Watch this. Woo! I lose a finger with that thing. But yeah, and so it's designed so if you need to pull your box out of your car, and um, you know this way you can quickly remove it and leave the terminal on the side of the speaker box, and then you can remove this other part so that you don't have to worry about removing it and unplugging wires and all that good stuff but this is really slick you can see his channel check out the video description below he'll show some of the tests that he did running it through the dyno with all kind of high powered amplifiers to show that there's no loss with using uh, this type of connection but very cool thanks to steve over smd for sending this qr1 speaker terminal super slick Sometimes we get some things sent in that are really unbelievable. This amp is an example. The Macintosh MC443 sent to me by Joe. Just incredible. I did a video about this amp before. Unfortunately, I did blow it up at the end. But it is getting repaired right now by a technician. And as soon as we get it fixed, we're going to do some extended testing. So thanks again, Joe, for sending this over. Awesome. All right, guys. So this was a gift from a buddy, Wayne Bud. And I've had this for quite a while. Decided it's time to go ahead and open it. So let's open it up and see what he sent. I really don't remember even what it was. He packed it nice. Looks like there may be an amp in here. What is that? Oh. <laughs> the suspense. I'll check that out. Oh, that is cool. It's 
a Sony XR65 shaft radio. Super cool. It's in really good shape too. Let's see. I think there's something else in here too. Dude, packed like a boss. Oh yeah, so that's a Sony app. Look at that. XM2545. It's a Sony 4 channel. 25 amp fuse, rated 25 by 4. Cool. Let's see if there's anything else. There's one more thing out here at the bottom. Ooh. What do you know about that? Sony XCC 1000, four way electronic crossover. Very nice. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it, man. All right, so this package came all the way from Tahiti. Uh, friend Tomatoa is his name. We call him Itchy Online, but I told him I wanted one of these Pyramid Gooseneck EQs. And check this out. My boy came through brand new in the box. Look at that retail price. $349. What? Now check it out. <laughs> it is a gooseneck with the sliders equalizer. Here's the brains. RCA inputs and outputs. Has the DIN uh, input and output. Model number GN770. This again is brand new. You can do it yourself. I haven't even pulled this out of the box. So plans were do a future video on this, but yeah, I think it's super, super cool to have one of these brand new. What do you think? Think I should do a video on this? Next up, we have this super slick bass knob by Mitchell from Boom Dial Accessories. This one has the voltmeter built in and it's super high quality with the RCAs, everything looks really, really slick. He sent this all the way from Australia. So they don't have a lot of these type of accessories down there. He knows we have them here in the US. A really cool note he wrote about winning first place in the 500 watt class of the old school challenge. And just very, uh, very nice in what he sent here. Check him out, Boom Dial Accessories on Facebook and this one in particular is the BDV one uh, and at the end of the year this one was on sale for $99 I'm not sure what it is now but you can check with him to find out what it is you'll see more in a future video next up we're gonna look at these really cool punch 360 x6 emblems these were sent to me by Tommy D they were made by Tom G on his 3d printer and if you guys remember this old video of mine, this Punch 360.6 DSM series, which is an alpha amplifier from Rockford, it was never released. Some of the guys in the Rockford groups has actually recreated this amp because it's so cool. And uh, I'm just showing some recreation pictures here, but mine is the legitimate one, but it's very cool to have that emblem to use on the end cap. CE Auto Electric, Tony C, you the man. He sent us over some t-shirts and especially when we were doing the Rockford T3002 video of that amplifier, he sent me this shirt and said this was his last one and this is the shirt they gave out during their little challenge they had. He says, because I didn't measure up the T3002 challenge LGHS, I can't tell you what that means, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's just a slap in the face to everybody else who tried to beat him pretty much. But um, check the video description for the video of this particular amp. It was it did amazing and just an awesome amplifier. And next up, we have some super awesome Crutchfield catalog sent by Jesse S. Man, I love these things. And I had so many over the years that I tossed that it's such a bummer because I love to go back through them and look. And he also sent a whole bunch of brochures from way back from the late 80s all the way into the 90s. So that's very awesome. Thank you, Jesse, for that. 
I'm totally embarrassed to say I could not find the person's name who sent me these car audio magazines that was very awesome i love these i collect them if i find your name i will put you in the video description thank you i want to give a special thanks to kicker for sending all this stuff you know um the youtube videos i do and everything i've been doing this for over 10 years and mainly been doing it with using my own money and i built a huge audience and you guys have been great and to see manufacturers you know, help support by sending stuff like this is awesome. It gives us stuff to test, gives us stuff to show you guys, and it gives me some comfort here from when I'm sitting in the lab. So that's always appreciated. And uh, yeah, so again, thanks to Kicker for sending all the goodies, and we'll see some more of this stuff in the future. All right, so our good friends over at Audio Control sent this DMRTA Pro Kit, which is in this really nice, super sturdy, Pelican style enclosure. When we open it up, you will see all the goodies. Have the DMRTA, have the Bluetooth device. Here's the DMRTA. It has all the different spots. So this is the AC adapter. Uh, this is a lighter adapter for using your car. USB cable, additional cables. Uh, a set of probes here. I have a CM10 microphone. There is the AT, AC BT24 Bluetooth adapter. And another set of probes. If we pull out the DMRTA here, which is a super slick device in itself, we've got some more goodies down here, including an XLR cable. I think there's a couple of XLR cables down there. But yeah, this is a superb device. You can check the video description below. I know Mark from Car Audio Fabrication has done a really detailed video on this and how it works. And I'm loving to dive into using something like this. I haven't had a whole lot of time with it yet, but it's a super slick RTA. And you know, these days you no longer need the old school ones that are really big. These are much more compact and you can use it in your car and it's powered by your car. So that's really slick. But thanks again to Audio Control for sending this. Appreciate that. All right, guys, there you have my video of the donations from the past year or so. And I realize there's a lot that's been sent to me prior to that that I didn't mention in this video. And I do appreciate everything you guys send to me when you contact me, tell me you have something for me to test or you know, have something to just hold on to for the labs. It is greatly appreciated. And I'll make sure to do this about once a year if you guys like these type of videos. Just let me know if there's anything in the video that you've seen that you really like and would love to see a video on it. Let me know and I will do my best to make that. Thanks as always, Big D. I'm out of here. All right, guys, for 2021, I have some really cool stuff coming up, including an amplifier like this. From Kef, this is the KA202. Found this one in Italy, and it was shipped all the way to me in the U.S. And brand new, which is amazing. And I can't wait to show this to you guys, show you more about it, test it on the dyno, all that fun stuff. I got so many cool things coming. Stick around with me. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.